when we went and viewed the vehicle in Holland and drove it there, yeah, we were impressed. John Corden and myself and an electrical man. The only place to try that vehicle is in the mine. You have to get it down there and get it into the conditions it's going to be in. See how it performs. So, from the last two days, it looks to be good. Emissions had become an issue, and we were working on it to try and cure it, you know, or get the emissions down. We, uh, we were here to have the first run on the ground. Tell me, how did it go? Uh, it went very well. The battery has been uh, uh, holding very long uh, and offers a very good range. We expect between 80 and 100 kilometers. So an average shift at Tara mine is, for example, is about between 45 and 65 kilometers. So with one charge they can do 10 and a half hours job. Tomorrow you will drive the vehicle yourself in the mine. What do you expect? I expect a happy face as I saw of the other drivers. Well, it's just to see how it manoeuvres itself, you know, like down there in a tight situation. You know, how it climbs. Uh, braking, engine braking. That is one thing now we will be looking for. Right, right. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, this is the boys there that are they would have an awful lot more experience driving on the ground than I would. Like, listen to them, they are very clear, very impressed. I would have to say yes. Very impressed. And how can you prepare a vehicle for conditions like this? We have been doing a lot of preparations already. We're supplying already the diesel versions, so it's more or less a standard vehicle what we supply. Um, obviously, we look at some protection on the, on the, uh, on the body protection. Um, the lights and all this safety feature, what, what's mandatory, what they ask us, mm -hmm. have been fitted, so 